So there's a secret in the cycling industry that Big Bike doesn't want you to know about. So to illustrate this, I went to three different thrift stores in the last week and the Salt Lake Bicycle Collective. And I wanted to share with you a little bit of what I found. Hey guys.
So this was just a regular week. There was nothing special about any of those thrift stores. There was nothing special or unique about what I saw at the Bicycle Collective. I didn't try to stage anything or create anything different. Now, I do understand that I live in a unique place. Um, the Salt Lake area in Utah is big into cycling and has been for a number of years. It's also an area that's big into donating and giving back and reusing items. And thrift stores are quite unique here. Uh, Deseret Industries is the local thrift store and uh, there are others, Goodwill, um, Savers and others like that are around, but they don't have quite the same level of donations that you get at Deseret Industries. Now, why did I show you all this? Obviously, you can see that there was several one that the thrift store bikes are going for not much. Um, most of what I saw at the thrift stores, which is normal, was department store bikes. Um, a lot of kids' bikes. Um, all of them pretty dilapidated. But occasionally, like the, the black specialized rock hopper that I found, occasionally you find good bikes that are in disrepair. And my channel, if it hasn't been a testament to that, um, I've got a few up that show, you know, $25 bikes, $35 bikes. Sometimes, sometimes I pay a little bit more, like one that I picked up last week before I started doing this video, and that'll be in a future video, that I picked up for $40. So sometimes they cost a little bit more, but still they're great deals. And then there's the Bicycle Collective. Now I know that the Salt Lake Bicycle Collective is maybe unique, not every city has a bike co-op or a collective or shops that are similar to the Bicycle Collective where you have vintage and used bikes being sold at a reasonable price that have been fixed up and tuned up by mechanics. Um, a lot of times at those shops also, you can pick up great frames and parts and components. That's something that actually when I've traveled abroad, I used to work regularly in Korea and the bike shops that I saw in Korea were very consistently something like the Bicycle Collective. A lot of um, reused, repurposed, rebuilt, restored, um, refurbished bikes were available here in the US. The big bike industry really wants to sell you on the latest and greatest bikes. So here in the US at least, you don't hear about it as much. The local bike shops are typically selling high-end expensive bikes that I don't think the regular consumer needs. Now there's some of you out there that are super serious about having the lightest, the fastest, the best bike for your exercise needs or for your heavy recreational needs. And I think in those cases, you're probably buying bikes that, that you need and you're working them really hard and really using them well. For a lot of folks though, recreational biking doesn't need the latest and greatest and really only need um, a bike that's maybe 20, 30 years old even. And the componentry, you just need it fixed up, working well, and in good repair, um, replacing consumables like grips and tires and brake cables and lines. But a lot of those components that were built 20 years ago work great. And I believe my channel has been a testament to that. So what is this big secret? It is that these shops do exist that good deals on bikes, used bikes are often the exact bike that you need. If you're someone who's mechanically inclined, it's a great project. It's actually really fun to build up and customize your own bike. If you're not someone like that, go somewhere like the Salt Lake Bicycle Collective to your local co-op or support those shops that refurbish and rebuild used bikes. You'll get a lot better deal you'll get a lot better quality. If you look at some of the bikes that I shared, again, go back and check them out again the, that I showed from the Salt Lake Bicycle Collective. You can pick up high-end road and mountain bikes from the last 20 years that are in great condition, have been refurbished, rebuilt, and are ready to ride and ready to have a lot of fun on. Especially like looking at the road bikes. I don't see a whole lot of change in innovation um, in road biking um, over the last 20 years. Now, you guys might correct me. I'm not as hardcore of a road biker as some of you. I'm a hardcore vintage XC mountain biker. 
we'll say that. And road biking, besides maybe running disc, which might help you in really, really bad weather, um, rim brakes I think are great. And a lot of the road componentry, road geometries, and those old road steel bikes are pretty awesome and are gonna last forever. But the Bicycle Collective even had like carbon fiber, high-end road bikes with Altegra components going for 400 bucks or in that range. There's reasonably priced bikes out there that are high quality that will last you a long time. And that is the secret that the bicycle industry doesn't want you to know. They want you to think that those old bikes are no good, that those old bikes can't handle it, and that there aren't any shops like the Salt Lake Bicycle Collective. For those that have followed the channel for a while, I do want to plug the Salt Lake Bicycle Collective. They don't pay me anything. I don't work for them. I'm not part of the board. I'm not part of their marketing plan. I might be kind of part of their marketing plan just because of the, the awareness that has come because of their shop, because of my channel. But I love what, they're do, what they do. I love what they do. They're a nonprofit bike shop that does a lot for the community. They donate bikes to children. They donate bikes to those in need that can't afford it and need reasonable transportation to and from work. They provide um, inexpensive services in the shop. They provide training for folks. Every time I'm in there, there's a few people in the bike area getting their own bikes fixed, being helped by employees at the Bicycle Collective. They take the donations that are given to them the ones that are worthwhile selling, uh, repairing and selling um, to the community are sold in the shop at a really good price to help fund the shop along with a lot of the donations that come from the community. And it is an awesome place to hang out. I run into a lot of you guys there every once in a while. People will come up to me and say, oh, I love your channel. I love watching what you do. Um, and they're like, I became aware of this shop because of your channel. So this video is an effort to, to one, save the world through bike shops and help you to know that the secret's out. There are good, awesome, often cool bikes, cooler than those new ones when you build up your own. I've got a few coming up here soon that I'm excited about. Um, that specialized rock hopper that I picked up in the thrift store will probably be one that I'll fix up. I'll use a, a few of the parts that I have in the shop here to get it in good condition and I'll be donating it to the Bicycle Collective because I believe in what they do. So as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Look for opportunities to give those old things a new life and the secret's out. I'll see you on the next video. Ciao. So here's that rock hopper, $25 at the thrift store. Even if I had to pay like a hundred bucks for this, it is well worth it. It's got good componentry, um, these STX shifters and brake levers um, should, should be repairable and reusable. We'll find out when we get into it. Brakes, components, everything should be fairly robust. It's a steel frame, should last a long time. Here's another one that um, I've mocked it up with parts. I'm trying to sort out what I want to put on it. Um, it's a Bianchi Strada um, anniversary edition. Super cool retro looking frame from uh, nine years ago that I'm looking at. I picked this up at the Bicycle Collective. Um, I also picked this one up just a couple weeks ago. I did one of these for my um, brother, my dad, my brother, um, fixed it up. Um, I'm planning on building this Le Monde up sometime soon as a road bike, not a street fighter. And then some of the latest hauls too, I've got some components. Some of these are ones I've had for a while, but picked up some hubs that I'm gonna build a wheel for. Um, these are brakes I'm considering for the, the, the Bianchi Strada. There's the fork for the Le Monde gonna put probably his Brooks saddle on that Strata too, maybe these parts. We got some parts here for the Le Monde. Um, still looking maybe for some Altegra levers. These are some 105s. I've got Altegra cranks, bottom bracket brakes, um, rear derailleur, 
and I'm gonna swap out the fork and put it as threadless. Some of you might not like this. And a saddle. Some of these I recently picked up at the Bicycle Collective, some I've had for a while. So yeah, good deals to be had. <laughs> Ciao.